Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Wen Zhongfeng from Tsinghua University. Today, I will introduce our work, Ground Plus Scalable Graph Random Neural Networks. And this work is collaborated with Beijing Institute of Technology, Tencent, and the Bush Center for Artificial Intelligence. First, I will introduce some background of this work. Graph is a common language to represent the relations between different objects. There are many types of graph data in the real world, such as social network, knowledge graph, transportation network, and the molecular graph. In this work, we focus on the problem of semi-supervised learning on graphs. The input of this task is an attributed graph, which has only a few parts of labeled nodes. Our goal is to infer the missing labels based on graph structure, node attributes, and uh, observed labels. Because the labeled nodes are scarce, to make a good performance, the model is required to fully leverage the abundant unlabeled data. With the rapid development of deep learning, graph, graph neural network is proposed to solve this problem. Typically, graph neural network follows the architecture of message passing, which includes two steps, facial propagation and nonlinear transformation. For example, graph convolution network adopts the normalized adjacency matrix to perform facial propagation. So graph neural network achieves promising results for this task. It still suffers, uh, suffers from a serious overfitting problem. The overfitting problem comes from two aspects. First, in GNN, facial propagation is coupled with nonlinear transformation. Thus, if we want to include high-order neighborhood information, we need to increase the number of layers. This operation will also include more unnecessary parameters into model learning. The second reason is that GNN only adopts supervised cross entropy loss to guide the model training. In semi supervised setting, such training method cannot fully leverage the unlabeled data. That makes the model easy to fit the labeled data. Uh, to solve this problem, we propose a model called Graph Random Neural Network, or GRAND for short in NeurIPS 2020. Compared with conventional GNN, GRAND adopts a novel random propagation strategy for message passing. Specifically, the random propagation method has three properties. First, it decouples the facial propagation process from nonlinear transformation. It directly propagates the raw features over graph and does not perform nonlinear transformation between two propagation steps. Second, it uses a mixed order propagation matrix type for facial propagation. This matrix is the average matrix of power series of adjacency matrix. Compared with only using a single matrix in other GNN, this kind of matrix can better combine both local and global information for each node. Finally, Grand employs a drop node operator before the propagation process. The drop node can be seen as a variant of dropout on graph data. It randomly selects a part of nodes and, and masks their facial vector to be zeros. Uh, with drop node, the propagation process is performed randomly. Uh, which only aggregates a part of neighbor's information for each node. Uh, this kind of propagation strategy can be seen as a data augmentation method for graph data. Based on that, Grand further designs a consistent regularization method for model optimization. Specifically, at each training epoch, Grand conducts a random propagation for m times, and each random propagation will generate a unique facial vector for each node. So we can, uh, we can obtain m different facial vectors for each node at each training epoch. Then the facial vector is fed into an MLP model to get m different predictions. We further use a consistency loss to minimize the disagreement of the m predictions of the same node. The advantage of, uh, of consistency loss is that it does not require to know labels in calculation. That it can be applied on unlabeled nodes in the graph, which enables the model to fully leverage the unlabeled data to avoid overfitting. 
Empirically, Grand achieves the best performance on the three benchmarks, three gen benchmarks compared with the three with fourteen GN models. However, Grand has a serious limitation of scalability. In random propagation, Grand propagates features with a mixed order mixed order matrix pi, which is a dense matrix, and the exact form of such matrix is hard to calculate. In implementation, Grand adopts power iteration to iteratively multiply the sparse adjacency matrix with the dense feature matrix, and take average on the intermediate results to get the augmented features. Uh, we can observe that the power iteration method is the full batch method, which takes the whole graph as input. The complexity of such pr process is linear with the summation of edge count and node count. And the random propagation needs to be performed for multiple times at each training epoch. Thus, the training time of ground is related to graph size, which is inefficient when dealing with large graphs. To solve the scalability limitation of ground, we propose ground plus in this work. Uh, the general idea of ground plus is that not using the full batch power iteration, but adopting a mini batch strategy for facial propagation. In each step, Grand Plus will select a batch of nodes and only calculate the corresponding feature, uh, the corresponding features for the selected nodes. To achieve that, we need to first calculate the propagation matrix pi in advance. However, it is hard to obtain the exact form of matrix pi. In Grand Plus, we propose an efficient approximation method to calculate this matrix, which is the key contribution of this work. Here I will introduce the basic idea of the approximation method used in Grand Plus. First, we can observe the adjacency matrix A is also a random walk probability transition matrix, where each row is corresponding to the transition vector of the node. And the nth power of A is also the transition matrix of n step random walk. Uh, based on this fact, we can simulate a random walk probability diffusion process to calculate the different powers of A. For example, uh, we want to calculate the row vector of node 1 in this graph. Then we start from the zero state. Uh, the zero's order of, of transition vector is the zero uh, is the, the is the one half vector of node 1. Because the random walk starts from node 1 with the prob probability of 1. Then we uniformly distribute the probability mass to the neighbors of node one, that is node two and node three, and we can obtain the first order random walk transition vector for node one. Next, we can also diffuse node twos and node three's probabilities to their neighbor to their neighborhoods, and get the second order transition vector. Uh, continue this process, we can obtain arbitrary orders of transition vectors. And we can calculate the low vector of matrix pi that corresponds to node one by taking average uh, on the first uh, orders of transition vectors. However, this method has a high complexity. According to the six degrees of separation theory, the probability will diffuse to the whole graph after six steps, in which case the complexity is linear with the edge count. To accelerate this procedure, we propose an approximation method called generate for push, or GF push for short. GF push follows the idea of random, random work probability diffusion, but, uh, but makes some prune operation during this procedure. Specifically, GF push maintains a threshold parameter R max. And before each diffusion step, the algorithm will judge whether the probability mass of the current node is larger than R mass times its degree. And it will only perform diffusion for the node whose probability above the threshold. For example, we set R mass to be uh, 0 0.07, and uh, the probabilities of node 1 and node 3 are smaller than R mass times their degrees. Then the then node one, node two, and node three are ignored in the diffusion process. In this way, a Jeff push can be considered 
as ignoring some less important neighborhoods to achieve efficiency. We conduct some analysis for the complexity of this algorithm, and the results suggest the approximation precision and the running cost of GF push are both negatively correlated with Rmax. In practice, we could use Rmax to control the uh, the, the trade-off between efficiency and approximation precision. To further reduce training cost, we also perform top case specification for the obtained propagation metrics. That is, we only preserve the top case largest elements for each row vector. With the two approximation methods, we can achieve better training efficiency. Assume the best size is B, so the computation complexity of each training step is B times K, which is independent of the graph size. These techniques are, uh, can ensure the, the good scalability of ground plus. Moreover, in ground plus, we, ref we also reform the propagation matrix to a generate pro propagation matrix. In this matrix, we use a set of Turnbull weights to fill different orders of adjacency matrix. This modification allows us to flexi flexibly adjust the importance of different orders of neighbors. We also improve the consistent regularization in ground plus. We propose a new confidence aware loss. This, this loss will incorporate a confidence term uh, to filter out the unlabeled nodes which have less predictive confidence and only apply consistent regularization for this confidence node. And this, imp this improvement makes ground plus get more accurate prediction performance. Here is the training pipeline of ground plus. It consists of three stages, matrix approximation, mini batch random propagation, and the confidence where consistent training. The matrix approximation is, is, is friendly to parallelization, and we implement this part with OpenMP. We conduct extensive efficiency and the effectiveness of ground plus on seven data sets. Uh, we can observe that ground plus gets better prediction accuracy on Coral, set zero and PubMed, the three benchmark data sets of GN. Notably, ground plus achieves a new, a new state of the art performance on PubMed, which gets 2.3% improvement over ground. We also compare ground plus with five data with five scalable GN methods and four, four large data sets. In summary, Grand Plus is 40 times faster than Grand, eight times faster than fast GCN, and 12 times faster than graph sand. We compared with the pre previously the fastest model, the fastest method of PPR Go. Uh, Grand Plus gets a uh, comparable training efficiency and offers 4.9% accuracy improvement. We also conduct a careful parameter analysis for ground plus. The results show the model can achieve good efficiency and performance trade-off in semi-supervised setting. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. The codes of ground and ground plus are available in GitHub. Thanks for your listening. Thank you. Thanks for your interesting presentation. Um, do we have any questions from the audience? It seems like we don't have any questions from the audience. Uh, so I, I have one question. So, um, okay. so the, the, the previous work was the grant, right? This only grant plus. Uh, yeah. Can you summarize the, the key difference between the this version and then the previous one of your? Uh, okay. I think I think you have a, a previous paper right on this one and then that, that is a grand model. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the uh, the largest difference is that uh, the grand plus uh, adopts uh, some matrix approximation 
method to achieve the scalability uh, and right. also use a better uh, better consistency loss to uh, to improve the model performance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the main the main improvement here is is the running time, right? Due to yeah. the yeah, metrics yeah, yeah. approximation. Yeah, understand. Uh, but the, the performance wise is, is quite comparable, right, with the, the previous version, but it's much faster. Uh, Am I the performance, uh, the, cl the classification accuracy is also better than ground because uh, we have uh, adopted a better consistency loss. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Got it, got it. All right. It have both. Uh, uh, good, uh, better performance and uh, scalability. Understand. Mm. 